nice to see you here again and if you're new welcome to the channel today we're going to be doing some really simple ps2 uh like intro i can't get everything right now so feel free if there's things or ways you know how to get like you'll see soon like certain trails and things like that I don't quite know how to do but as you can see um you're gonna get something and you're gonna get some nice little techniques out of this and we'll be on our way so let's dive right on in all right so getting started with this ps2 visual the first thing we're going to do per usual is delete everything so you press a and then x and you'll have everything out of the way we're going to do everything in eevee here turn on ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflections and down in the film let's just turn down the filter size to 0 0.01 it's for some of the ps2 effects now let's play with some of our animation timing stuff so let's go over to animation and just make sure your default interpolation is set to linear once you have that set we're pretty much good to go to get started we're diving into geometry nodes here this first half of this tutorial is going to be within geometry nodes and that's where honestly the majority of the work maybe in my opinion so first thing you're gonna do is press shift a bring in a plane after you bring in a plane create new geometry node you're gonna do it's pretty simple stuff here First, you're going to uh, subdivide the mesh. And second, you go ahead and change the level on that mesh. I'm going to make mine like four. Then we're going to go ahead and split the edges. And if you want to make sure you see like a lot of the stuff, like the wireframe parts, go and click this little orange button, viewport display, wireframe. And you'll see a little more detail without having to always jump between wireframe and solid. Now let's go ahead and move our group output a little bit. Bring in a scale elements. Extrude mesh. Then we're going to bring in a random value. Put that on the offset. Oops. Whoa. I mean offset scale. Cool little effect there. Let's go ahead and bring in a Join geometry, attach that, bring this back around. Go ahead and bring the scale down to 0 0.8 just so we can kind of see the bottom portion. And from there, we pretty much have our squares. So let's go ahead and jump out of geometry nodes. Go into layout. So hold tilde, go to top. Let's go ahead and bring in a camera. Let's bring it up a little bit by G and Z. Right click the bottom section. Let's just go ahead and split our workspace just so we can kind of see what's going on here. Out there. Now, if you find that you need more space, what you can go ahead and do is just kind of be a scale on the X. Actually, let's just go ahead and scale it all together and then bring the camera back out a little bit. You want to make sure I get the full range so in your camera settings let me turn this up just so you you can see what's going on we don't want to miss what's going on okay my friend so what we're going to do now is we're going to animate the little things floating around i feel like this will make it a little bit easier on all of us so what you're going to do is pretty much spawn in some lights and we're going to be just keyframing them around this scene okay so i'm gonna bring in a few lights uh, i'm just gonna also do this in render now to get us started and what i want to do here is make sure that i turn off my background environment so it's fully dark i need to move this up make this smaller we might have to make our entire environment a little bit bigger, in my opinion. So let's just go ahead and grab our camera, move it up. Let's, let's move our light up a little bit. Let's make this a tad bit, oops, a tad bit bigger. Bring our light down. All right, now it looks like we got something going on. 
Because in the PS2, it was pretty much, uh, I like to say it was like a lot of blue lights kind of going on here. So let's go ahead and make it around like 100. We don't want it to be too strong. Let's give it like a, let's give it a bit of like a cyber-ish blue. We're gonna get about there. Let's bring it over GX, GY. That's how you can kind of see I'm moving things. I'm gonna go ahead and just, hmm, let's duplicate it once more. Let's add another light over here. Let's add another light right here. Let's kind of just modify the colors. It was all pretty much like these dark blue kind of flavorful things. Now, one thing I just realized is the wireframe is still on, so you can go ahead and turn that off so you get a better, a bit of a better view. So we're gonna go ahead and just animate these moving around. The best thing I like to do is insert keyframes from the first one, which we always do zero to make it loop. Insert again on the second one. Well, actually, let's go ahead and make our animation 300 instead of 250. Just drag it up a little bit. Now, what I like to do, since it's now 10 seconds, we can move it from a nice even number. So we'll enter another keyframe at 100, and we're just going to go ahead and move our light across, down this way, enter the keyframes, and 200, we're going to move it again, just a little bit in a different direction. So right about here. This is all up to you at this point. It's totally random, and you'll see. Our light is kind of just moving around. <clears throat> we'll play with some animation values soon, but you see what's going on here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for my other my other ones, and I'm just gonna fast forward so you don't gotta waste your time looking. So now that we have our lights animating, I want to do one other thing is I want to animate the camera. I just want to pretty much rotate the camera on its Z axis. So we get this nice kind of spinning animation during the whole getup. So we're just going to use some keyframes, Z360, just I record. Now we have some stuff kind of moving. <clears throat> now you're probably like, oh, Michael, like it's definitely missing something and what it's missing is the clouds. I think uh, the PlayStation animation had a lot of um, smoke. So we're gonna attain that effect with some volume. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop the animation right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a mesh cube. I'm gonna scale it. Make sure, let me look at the top. I'm gonna scale it. Go to scale on this Y as well. And let me bring it up a little bit. So you can kind of see right at the start of the animation. And then I'm gonna go into shading <coughs> just to make it easier so you guys can see what I'm doing. Go new, delete the principal BSDF and get a principled, <coughs> principled volume. And the density, let's just go ahead and leave it as is for right now. And what you're gonna do is <coughs> I'm gonna show you some key, some key elements now. <clears throat> I'm gonna keyframe the location. And it's gonna start right here. And then what you're gonna do is just now the reason why we do this is it, it definitely has to be pretty dark. So what you want if if you want the clouds to be a little bit closer. Feel free to drag it not all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna make mine a little. Oh, let's play around with the lights now. So personally, I'm gonna just make one of those a little bit darker because I hate that they're all the same color. And then A little bit of that. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm 
No, we're gonna want these to animate in a really nice fashion. So I'm just gonna drag this up. Oh, I have the drivers. No, not the drivers. My fault, friends. We're gonna open up the graph. Open up the graph editor. Let's just go ahead and select all our keyframes. And for once, we're gonna go ahead and just give it a Bezier uh, interpolation mode. <clears throat> Which will make some of these move a little bit nicer. So right about at 100, you can see that's where our thing kind of flies. We want it to have a little bit more oomph. And the way you do that is you just kind of pull the graph. And the best way to visualize this, when that graph goes, that's like the speed. You can see it dropping. So now you'll see a big difference here. Now it's looking a lot better. So let's go ahead and just do that for all of our points here. We're going to go ahead and just bezier it on the moments where we see it like really kind of fluctuate. We want to emphasize it. We want we don't want it to just be Yeah, I want to emphasize these curves. Okay, now look at it. Cool. So Now we're just gonna brush up some of these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a bit of more of a, a higher contrast. And now let's go ahead and jump into the geometry node model. So let's go back into shading. And let's just go ahead and give these a bit of a darker color. Cause we don't want that. And we wanna also up the roughness. Let's go back to layout. You can see a bit looking a lot more mysterious than before shading let's bring it up a little bit more actually <clears throat> okay now we need to pixelize it so from there we have the shading done let's open up use nodes so a little pre-homework here just go ahead and make sure your output is set Once your output is set, you can go ahead and follow my settings if you want to get an MP4. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and open up a reroute. Shift, shift A. <coughs> Bring in a viewer. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open up a scale. Actually, I want to do this little trick. Let's add a little bit of noise to our scene. <clears throat> Click this clouds, bring it down. I'm gonna go ahead and call this noise. Let's enter a mix node. Just gonna go ahead and just render out an image actually, just so you can kind of see what's going on. <clears throat> bring in your noise texture, connect it to the bottom, and let's go ahead and just overlay this and let's zoom out a little bit. Let's uh, render a scene that looks a lot more interesting, actually. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, man, I can barely see this. Okay. So now we have our noise. You can double up on that. You can ease up on it. I think the noise is kind of cool. So let's bring in, um, this is how you pixelate. Scale. Pixelate. Scale. And <clears throat> this value, the more you turn it down, essentially, uh, it's like the more it will have to pixelate. So if I crank this all the way down to like 0 0.2, so I have to crank this back up to, uh, I like to just honestly wing it. And then when you see in the preview, if it gets big, there must be like a math kind of 
thing about this, but I honestly don't know it, my friend. So I just wing it until you you don't want the canvas to get too small. And just, there's a max size. So that's too pixely for me. I'm gonna go ahead and 0 0.5 it. And you can drag down on this. Right about there is good. Personally, I think this was the PlayStation animation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and render this and we'll talk a little bit. Here we are. Once again, you finished another project. And one thing I just want to make clear is like don't don't get upset at yourself. Um, if it's not coming out perfect. One thing I just heard was practice makes improvement, so pat yourselves on the back. You just crushed another blender tutorial feel free to go back and revisit it or feel free if you have any questions or how to make it do certain things or maybe if you want that trail stuff feel free to just drop a comment and i'll see how i can help i actually remember someone dm'd me a few videos ago asking for some help so don't be a stranger i'm around and just want to thank you once again for tuning in i think i could to say the least Thank you so much um, for dropping in on the YouTube channel. I think uh, I'm taking a huge leap here, and um, we'll see where it goes in a few months. So peace out, everyone. Love you, and I'll see you around.